Hi there, everybody. Delighted to have you along for the ride for this game. Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary position. Colchester United, they will play Doncaster Rovers. On the subject of Doncaster Rovers, who we're going to talk a lot about, here's Alan Smith. Well, if you can keep your nerve at this point, Martin, when you go into promotion, as this team is, maybe other sides around you might drop points. You've got to make sure you do your own job first, though. Well, this is how the home team shape up. That's a variation on a theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those... Uh, Wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. It doesn't look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those full backs are going to be uh, radiant forward, but if they're under the cosh, I think they'll just sit there nice and tight to the three centre halves. Gavin Ward is the referee today. Into the attacking third. Need to try and get the ball back now. And in goes the cross. Well, they've got to keep the crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end it will deliver something, but it didn't this time. Throw in to come. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Row. They've coped with it well defensively. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. And shoots! Well, that's a clever... It's in! It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. He's tucked it away, well out of the goalkeeper's reach. I love to see that. Don't have to whack it from that kind of position. Just side-footed home. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Kent. Guthrie. That just seemed to wind him up, push him out. And that could have been an early booking for the offender. I wouldn't have been surprised, but the referee's taken a slightly lenient view, I think. Goes out wide again. Shot off. He's kept it out. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here. Guthrie. And the pass not completed, really. In quickly. Now Slater. Good forward play from them. No cross, good block. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. And here's the header. Just working away to try and find an opening. There goes the cross, and he's up for the header. Great contact with the header, great work from the keeper. On the attack here, he's better usually at crossing than that. It was a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Strong challenge. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Here's a chance for a breakaway. Building steadily here, keeping possession. On to the attack now. Now Slater. And safely behind for a goal kick.
They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. To level it up now. There it is, the equaliser. You've got to admire the way he placed the ball into the bottom corner of the net. Well, the goalkeeper was in a decent position, but he was helpless to uh, stop that one going in. So, away we go at one all. He's coming forward with some danger. Comes in with a tackle. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. well they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Matthew Briggs. In midfield, they've got it back via an interception. Kent. Goal news from Stevenage. It's a goal for Stevenage. 32 minutes played. 1 0. So many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Some, this could be a chance. He's had a go here. Opportunities are not going to be easy in this game to come by. And you can't squander them like that. No, didn't expect the ball to come his way. He wasn't on his toes. It's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win against this side that they're visiting in the uh, other match between the two clubs earlier in the season. But I'm sure the hosts are really determined to uh, uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance here for the visitors to take six points off the their opponents now Slater goal news from Portsmouth it's a goal for Portsmouth 41 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. And in he goes with the tackle. Now Slater. <laughs> Free kick given. Here's Slater. Still chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Garvin. Into the attacking third. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break. Team's all set, and we're ready for the start of the second period. Guthrie. Here's a chance to attack. They cope with it well defensively. Well, here's a chance to get their noses in front from the corner. It's hit the bar and it's back in, and a goal! So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. Captain's input there. Off we go again, 2-1. Coppinger. 
row. On to the attack now. Doing well to keep the ball. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Good challenge. Garvin. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. And they're passing so well out there. Oh, it's promising the build-up then. But the pass finally cut out after they kept the ball quite nicely. That was a lumpy touch to start with, but he's OK now. Andrade. Trying to keep the ball. Not anymore. Well, this attack... And he heads it for goal. Wonderful save. And to really reach out for that. Well, they've got a corner now. And possibly a chance to add to their lead. And in comes the header. The shot's off. But it's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. And this is going to be a throw. Now Slater. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. And here's the shot, and they have scored, and they do lead now by two, and they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, we'll see. Well, they've got a goal to show for their excellent performance. in a game where really we expected it to be very tight yeah and I didn't quite know what to expect coming into it in terms of who was going to win but uh, the leading side is there on merit he's coming forward with some danger can't keep the ball at the moment giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing going to be a substitution here for the home side. Attacking now. Good interception. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Now Slater. Good position here. Just working away to try and find an opening. And shoots! He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. An easy one for the linesman. He was a good couple of yards. Looking to play his teammate through. He's got his shot off now. Oh, fantastic goal. I don't know if it was a missed kick. I don't think he quite intended to go quite as close to the crossbar as he did, but... He's got his goal, that's what matters. Well, there's a goal that's perhaps not gone according to the script here. They just picked their moment to get forward after a lot of defending. Yeah, and they can thank the defenders for that, but uh, when they did get the ball, they moved it forward really quickly. They were, they were ruthless there. Very good game, chance to attack I could have got through there but the defender was that well, could be a booking here easy decision for this referee and there's gonna be no leniency here it's got to be a card a yellow one yeah he reached for that back pocket straight away and out it came now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch Shot on! Shot blocked here. 
looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Challenges for the ball. Goal news from Exeter. It's a goal for Exeter City. Eight minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Cheers, Alan. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Into the attacking third. Coppinger. And then he went, just diverted it away. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here. And that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they recognise that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. He's injured here, strained something. Well, he's appealing. <laughs> he was on side, but no way. No, I think it's uh, time just to get back in position. Forget about that one. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. And they cut it out. And that will end the threat, at least for the moment. Butler. Here's Blair. Here the challenge is a good one. Here's Slater. Well, that was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. The manager won't be too happy with that. Pressing forward with an equaliser in mind. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. Uh, they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Promising build-up until that challenge. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And in goes the cross. Five goals in a very fine game. Well defended, not just... English Football League 2, Barnett 0, Morecambe 1, Carlisle United 1, Crew Alexandra 1, Colchester United 3, Doncaster Rovers 2, Exeter City 1, Leighton Orient 1.